What's going on guys? We have a Beechcraft Starship here. A twin 30 millimeter. So I originally designed this thing to accept like little quad uh, three bladed prop uh, motors. And, uh, and I cannot for the life of me figure out why I couldn't arm the prop motors or the quad motors. So it never happened. I, I sent the design off to Thomas and he's gonna try and do it. He's, he's better with that kind of stuff than I am. Uh, let me just get the CG. This is, okay, so the CG, I'm a little bit behind the magentas. So the CG that I calculate, it should be somewhere between the front of this, this scoop out here. Um, this is a test mule, by the way. So uh, if it crashes, it crashes. It, the CG should be anywhere from like right here all the way up to the front of this because it's got the canard blah 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 so I'm 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 gonna hedge a little closer to here because the canards aren't that big um, I had a thrust line issue it wanted to nose down so let me just do a quick run up oh now it wants to go up all right so now we introduced even more variables uh, okay so now it wants to go up so I had it I had it going, it was pitching down without these little thrust cones, and now it wants to pitch uh, up. So, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just toss it and hope, hope we can get a flight in. This thing is really cool. Um, I hope it flies, I really do. I'm gonna uh, get my sunglasses on because we got some sun here. Real quick, put these on, ow, just pinched my finger. All right, sunglasses on, time to throw. We got controls maxed out with a little bit of expo on the roll axis. And let's see what we got. Let's see if we can fly her, ready? No way. My son bet me it wasn't gonna fly. It's tail heavy. I think it's tail heavy. Yep. Hold on. Hang on, buddy. You can do it. Oh! Okay, did I save it? I think it's tail heavy. So it's a little tail heavy. Hopefully, it's okay. I don't know. I got tiny little 300 3S batteries. Guys, this thing is three, no, it's 240 grams all up weight. And I think it is okay. I think I saved it at the very last second. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, I think I was tail heavy. So it is, in fact, uh, kind of where we originally thought. Uh, so if it's tail heavy, I'm gonna bring this stuff forward a little bit. And let's hope that we can get another flight in here. All right, so where am I? Now I am a good bit forward. I know that this stuff is gonna fly back when I throw it. All right, so I am a little bit forward of where I was. Okay, let's give it another shot. Let's throw her up again. We got wind. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! I love this thing! <laughs> My son bet me a dollar. It would not fly. And it flies really cool. <laughs> he bet me. He said, Daddy, that thing will not fly. And I'm like, oh, ooh, ooh. oh, am I out of battery? Oh, I was out of battery that quick. No way. Okay, so I ran a 300, 
3S and unfortunately I broke off the canard. Okay, I can fix that. All right, I got uh, I got some CA. I'm gonna fix this real quick and uh, and I'm gonna fly the next battery. I wanna make sure that I didn't run out of, of juice and that was the issue. Let me see. Yep, I was out of juice, guys. That was really quick. Okay, so I have 450 3S's coming. Now that I know that it needs more nose weight, I am going to use, uh, I think 800s is the way to go. And 800 is gonna power this thing for a good three or four minutes. Uh, I'm, I just wanted to get this flying with a 300. So let me glue the canard on and I will, uh, I'll start the video right back up. Alrighty guys, I'm back. I fixed the, uh, this was the canard that broke on the hard landing and I totally just screwed something up. I don't know what I did wrong, but this is a three cell lipo that I tried plugging into. I made a, a wonky JST to Dean's and it literally fried the connectors off. So I literally have, I literally have connectors just stuck into the JST, not touching obviously, or else it would be, it would be uh, shorting out, but it works. So I'm gonna fly this thing and uh, hopefully they're okay, ESCs. So I'm gonna fly this thing again. I got two little tiny batteries, um, two little 300s. It really needs a, a 500 or 450 or more to get to get it really flying good so let's fly this thing again it flew so good before it's so cool and compact and it flies so uniquely so let's see how it goes what a cool plane like it barely has any capacity so I need to be careful because it died on me last time it's got a lot of power good roll rate all right so that's off throttle so the CG is perfect Uh-oh, I think it's dying. Oh, <laughs> same thing happened. The battery died. Okay, so now I know that the, the 300 LiPo is way too wimpy. All right, so it's still, everything's still working. Um, and the CG needs to go back a very touch, like a hair, a hair back. All right, hopefully nothing is fried. I hope I don't fry my fingers trying to uh, plug this into the next the next battery. I have 450s coming, which is still not going to be enough. I really need a bigger a bigger battery. All right, <laughs> look at that. I'm literally plugging in the wires because I'm like, screw it. I need to get this thing flying. All right, <laughs> so let's plug this in. Uh, I'll do the negative one first. Come on, this is so stupid that I'm doing this right now. Don't touch. All right. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right, let's see where our CG is here. With this one, I was there. I wanna go slightly back. Lightly back. Yep, that is going to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to give myself a little more, a little more trim up and fly it again. It's going to be a quick flight. I think an 800, an 800 JST connector is going to be perfect for these. Super cool. All right. 
Very stable. Great flying plane. Needs a lot of trim, a lot of up trim. Oh, why did it break? Why did it do that? Oh my God, one of the fans, one of the fans uh, basically cut off. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, I got to, uh, I'm gonna go clean that up and print a new one. I have to print a new one anyway, um, but uh, Wow, I can't believe that. That's insane. Uh, one of the fans, when you when you cut the throttle, I think I had an issue because I remember when I spooled up the fans on the first or, or the, the first flight that when I was here, I noticed that when I cut the throttle, one of the fans was still moving a little bit and one wasn't. So I don't know if one was getting power and one wasn't. I don't know if I did something to it. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I'm going to print another one because this thing flies so good and I uh, will see you next time.